Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how I curl my already naturally curly hair with the curling barrels on the Dyson Airwrap. So the end result basically gives me this like big blowout curl type look, um, which I really like. I've been using the 1.6 inch barrels to do that because it's just like more like big voluminous curls. So Dyson also has longer curling barrels than the ones that I have. I definitely think I would have liked the longer barrels better, but at the same time, like these work fine. As you can see, like it still gave me the results I want. So I'm making it work. If you have longer hair and sometimes you have to use your hand to kind of like get all the hair onto there, but it, it does the job. So if you already have the air wrap and you want to get those longer barrels, then each individual part is sold on Dyson's website for $40, but you could probably get it for cheaper on eBay. And then if you're looking to get the air wrap, then on Dyson's website, they have sets that you can like personalize based on your like hair texture and hair length and so they'll give you like a complete set of the air wrap with like personalized attachments that would like fit your hair type and it's the same price too i think it's like 550 for any any type of like variety of those like attachments okay so i'm gonna read what dyson's website says about these barrels so the 1.2 inch one is supposed to create and set voluminous curls with clockwise and counterclockwise barrels for symmetrical curls. The 1.6 barrel is supposed to create and set loose curls or waves with clockwise and counterclockwise barrels for symmetrical curls. They both work really well. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look. So keep watching. Okay, so I just washed my hair um, you can kind of see like how curly it is not really because it's wet. It's pretty curly like wavy I'd say I, I think I have like 2C 3A or 2B to 3A type curls. I don't know I'm gonna use the 1.6 inch barrel just because I like how that looks better on me the um firm smoothing brush when I straighten my hair with that before and then sometimes I get like bored of this straight look I'll go in with the 1.2 inch barrels on my ends to make it kind of look a little more textured and curly at the end when I go straight in with my curly hair I like to use the bigger um, curler okay so I'm gonna use the new well, it's not new, it's discontinued, but Smooth Intense Ultimate Straight Straight Perfecting Balm um, by L'Oreal Paris. I was like obsessed with this because it just worked so well for my hair. Anytime I was in humidity or somewhere where it was like really hot and my hair would just like easily like get frizzy, like this would stop it. Like, this tool is already so good for your hair. Um, I don't sometimes I don't even feel like I need to use any type of like heat protectant because it's just so safe for my hair But I still use it sometimes. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna part my hair I'm gonna tie it like that. So I just split that down the middle in half. I'm gonna use the one barrel the arrows when I look at it from where I'm sitting it's going this way um, but then when I look in my mirror or maybe like on camera, um, you guys are gonna see it going this way So you basically have to go off of what you're gonna see in the mirror when you're doing your hair So right now in the mirror I see it going this way and that means I should use it on this side because you want your curls to go away from your face I mean if you like it going towards your face, you can do that too But I just think they look better when they're away from your face and I'll use the other one to do the other side Okay, so there's the fan setting which is there's three modes, there's low, medium, and high. And then there's the temperature, which there's cold, and then like the lowest heat setting, and then the higher heat setting. When you turn it on, it's in the center. And then when you're curling your hair or straightening your hair, they recommend that you use the cold shot, which is over here. So when you turn it on and then it stays on, but then if you push the button like upwards and keep your thumb like pushing it towards like this, there's like a blue dot here that's for the cold, cold shot. So you should just like push upwards to that cold shot whenever you want to like set 
your style, whether you're um, straightening your hair or curling your hair. I'll show you guys how I do that. Um, you guys won't be able to hear me over the fan. So when I use the cold shot, I'll give you guys like a thumbs up. Um, okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna part this and use like this much hair. Well, I'm gonna clip this up with one of these clips. I don't know what they're called. They're like, like butterfly clips? I don't even know what they're called. So I'm just gonna clip this up so it doesn't bother me. You can use medium heat. I use high heat and then the highest fan setting. You just want to hold your hair like midway so that there's like that much hair left. I'm going to put it behind the section and wait for this like bottom part to wrap around the barrel and then I'll like bring it upwards and you'll see how my hair will just like wrap itself around it. That's the curl. Wow, it looks good. So now I'm gonna take this strand that I put up here and do the same thing to this one. So again. Right now, the curls look like super tight, but once you like comb it out and they fall out by the time you're done doing your hair. So for some people that might be good, but for some people um, with straighter hair, you don't want it to fall out completely. So make sure you set your hair in the style with like a hairspray or something um, so that your hair stays curly all day. So for the other side, I have to switch um, the barrel. Take the other one and you just connect it like that. So when you take it off, you there's like a little thing that you just slide down. And then when you put it on, you just like that. I'm gonna take another small strand, put these up. Okay. Okay, um, so one thing I realized is I forgot to do like start like a stopwatch to see how much time it takes to do my whole hair. Um, so we'll just add like maybe like two or three minutes to um, what I have. But this is what I have so far. This is like the first layer. What I like to do is use the Kukui oil. It's the anti-frizz hydrating oil by OGX. So I just like to like spray this onto oh, like that one onto my face. Okay, so I like to spray this onto my curls just to reduce frizz and help them look shiny. Let's keep going. finished doing like all of the hair on my head so far except my bangs so for that I'm gonna use the I guess one of the straightening brushes just because I don't want this to be like curled or anything super tightly so I'm gonna use the firm smoothing brush <sighs> I look crazy so I'm just going to smooth these out and straighten them. Okay, this looks 
looks good. This looks good. Usually when I curl my hair like this, the curls fall out throughout the day and get looser. They still stay like pretty much all week. I do have to like touch up sometimes throughout the week. They get kind of like loose throughout the day so they're gonna be a little tight right now you guys saw how i was using the curling barrel and i was like wrapping my hair with my hands around the barrel and that's just because my hair is like long i think i would need the longer barrels i could use it but i honestly don't really see the need because clearly it's doing the job um a really good job i just have to use my hands and also i feel like doing that helps me realize like when my hair is dry so I can put it onto the cool shot right away and so that kind of helps me use less heat okay I'm gonna turn around and show you guys like how this looks hold on okay so um they're super bouncy and they look really healthy I feel like you wouldn't really get something like this with like a regular like curler that's what I love about the Dyson that it's just so like natural looking it just looks like your hair is just like naturally like like this but it's not I, I just really like this tool um, and like did you see how it literally like ah it bounces it does get hot though when it went like close to my scalp I was like making a face because it gets like hot I think the highest heat setting is like 302 degrees or something which is like so low compared to what I would use in like a curling iron curling iron I'd probably use like close to 400 for my hair type but with this I'm just using like 302 and that's crazy and obviously it's 300 degrees so it's gonna get hot for your skin but it's health much healthier temperature for your hair um, I feel like I read one time online that your hair can handle up to like 450 is really the highest. I feel like if you go higher than that, you're basically just burning your hair off. So this is really safe. I probably could have used medium heat too to do all my hair. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys how much time it took. So um, I saw the time when I was done. It took me about like 20 minutes, but keep in mind, I do have alopecia, so I've lost a lot of my hair. So because of that, I think it was like 20 minutes, but if I probably like still had all my hair, I think it would take double the time. So probably like 40, 30, 40 minutes, which isn't bad, but again, that's like the same time that a curler would take, but it's much less damaging. So it's up to you, whatever you prefer. Um, I think it's worth the money because I do style my hair often. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing for more future videos just like this. And please like this video if it was helpful to you. You guys can ask me any questions if you want. I'll be happy to answer them. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Um, 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 um. Um, 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 um,